This is a weakening question. The conclusion is that some of the suggestion boxes are still needed. The missing link is between the disaffected residents who live in poorest parts of the city not having enough number of internet households and the conclusion that the suggestion boxes are still needed. Our broad expectation from the correct answer choice is that it weakens this conclusion. Let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A. This answer choice talks about the cost of maintaining the suggestion boxes and says that the cost is more than $3 million. The argument is concerned with whether suggestion boxes are necessary. Whereas this answer choice talks about the cost. So this answer choice is just additional information and does not weaken the conclusion. So let's eliminate it. Answer choice B. If 20% of internet connections are out of order at any given point in time, it indicates that internet or emails are not reliable means and hence suggestion boxes may be needed. So this answer choice strengthens rather than weakens the conclusion. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice C. Suggestion boxes provide less information as compared to emails. This answer choice indicates a demerit in suggestion boxes but makes no suggestion regarding whether these boxes are necessary. So this answer choice simply provides additional information and does not weaken the argument. Let's eliminate it. Answer choice D. The argument is concerned with whether suggestion boxes are necessary. Whereas this answer choice talks about the location of city offices. So this answer choice simply provides additional information and does not weaken the argument. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice E. In the poorest parts of the city, residents' grievances are reported through welfare checks. If this is true, it indicates that in the poorest parts where most disaffected residents reside, the suggestion boxes may not be necessary. So this answer choice weakens the conclusion. E is the correct answer choice.